A Philadelphia tradition that drew thousands is no more. The plug has been pulled on Wing Bowl after nearly three decades. Angelo Cataldi of Sports Radio 94 WIP created the event with co-host Al Morganti back in 1993 and announced the end just days ago. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan explains the reason for the decision. What started as a simple chicken wing eating contest, WIP's Wing Bowl grew to become an arena filling spectacle that even founder Al Morganti can't explain. There, there was no explanation. It's like gravity, it's just there. For 26 years, the event got bigger and wilder with more elaborate introductions, greater eating feats, and of course, the wingettes. People in our city tend to embrace the unusual and love that it is. And, and I think Wing Bowl is a part of that. The early morning beer soaked phenomenon each February during Super Bowl weekend was both reviled and revered. Just fun. I mean, it was crazy. It was kind of like Philly Mardi Gras, but like under one roof. Um. People having a good time and crazy and, you know, revving everybody up. But the event host WIP says after the Eagles won the Super Bowl this year, it's hard to imagine revving up the city any higher, so it's time to stick a fork in the wing bowl. I don't think any of us thought that there was a way to top it, and uh, sometimes it's. Um, better to burn out than fade away. Right. Morganti says at age 26, it's okay to let go of his baby, the wing bowl. I'm happy that it's over because I think it ran its, uh, its course. It was only, wing bowl was only meant to be a pre-Super Bowl party because the Eagles were never in the Super Bowl when it started. And once the Eagles won the Super Bowl, it's like, you know, mission accomplished. The folks at WIP says they will not try to replace the wing bowl with anything similar, but they will continue to have events and keep the city pumped up for their sports teams. In South Philadelphia, Clee Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.